In this experiment, I am going to explain the registers. These are the different registers. This is carbon composition fixed type of registers. This is a variable type of register. It is called potentiometer. Here you are seeing color band. From this you can find out the value of this registers it is brown black red this is also brown black red this is brown black orange it means these two are of 1 kilo this is of 10 kilo you can verify using digital multimeter also this is a digital multimeter let's keep it center if it is showing 0 then we will decrease it if it is showing i for infinity like this then we will increase the range see it is showing 0.9 if i reduce it you can measure it is 990 ohms means approximately 1 kilo ohms its last band tolerance it is gold it means plus minus 5 percent variation is possible so let's check the second showing same 985 is approximately one kilo let's see showing i means it must be higher than this range so let's change this position now it is showing 9.86 means approximately 10k let's check this register here it is showing 0.9 means 1 kilo this is a variable potentiometer in between the first and last there is fixed register it is showing I am increasing further so it is showing 424 on this bottom side it is written 470 kilo ohms 470 kilo for variable this center one must be connected so I am connecting one terminal of meter to center the other end I am connecting to this terminal or you can connect this terminal also I have connected this here it is showing 419 now see what happens when I increase this it goes on decreasing zero full clockwise direction zero here this is maximum if I connect here here it was showing maximum so here it will show zero is zero here on the right hand side it was zero now it will show here it is maximum 424 okay so here we are going to join these both terminals and the other register we have connected to this terminal so that this center will be automatically connected to this terminal then we will see what happens when voltage applied here by size you can see this is quarter watt register quarter 1 by 4 this is half watt this is 1 watt register
this is also potentiometer where you are seeing it is 1 kilo ohm this is wire wound so this will connect here This terminal is not required. This two terminal, center and any one terminal is enough. So here we have shorted these two terminals. This is also one kilo, brown, black, red. Now let's connect wire. We have connected here. Similarly, let's connect here also. We can also remove this coating using this cutter. You can cut this extra part. Now let's connect this to the power supply. This is positive terminal of the power supply. Inside there is a hole. You can insert in that hole. 
and we can rotate this one. Similarly here also. Now let's take to reading. This is 10 kilo, 1 kilo, 1 kilo. Total is 12 kilo. This end is connected to positive terminal. The far end of this series combination of three registers is connected to this negative. If suppose I am giving here 12 volt, this is 12 kilo. This I is equal to V upon R. I is equal to V upon R means 12 volt upon 12 means it will be 1 milli ampere. So if this 1 milli ampere is passing through this then 1 milli ampere multiplied by 10 is equal to here you will get 12 volt, here you will get 1 volt, here you will you get 1 volt. In between these two terminal you will get 10 plus 1 is equal to 11 volt. In between these two, obviously since this is connected to this terminal, therefore 12 volt. So let's confirm this. This is the multimeter. The one end I am connecting to this negative terminal. And let's keep this to 12 volt. Here it is 10 volt. So I am wearing it. Now see it is 12 volt. So now I am connecting here. See it is showing 9.99 .99, means 10 volt. Right. So out of this 12 volt, 10 volt you can get across this register if you move to this then this 1 kilo will be added so 10 plus 1 is equal to 11 so here you are seeing 10.99 volt and if it, you connect here then since both terminals are connected to direct power supply so here whatever showing same will show here right if you Keep this point same here and connect this terminal here now since it is across 1 kilo so here you will get 1 volt see 1 volt you connect so see here you are getting 2 volt and if you connect here then 12 volt if you connect you if you want 1 volt then you can connect across this see 1 volt or across this if you want 10 volt connect across this so in this way this circuit is acting as a voltage divider circuit so here you are seeing this 10 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to total 12k i is equal to v upon r means 1 milliampere is flowing so according to Ohm's law 10 into 1 is equal to 10 volt so here you got 10 volt similarly here 1 kilo into 1 milliampere is equal to 1 volt 1 kilo into 1 milliampere is equal to 1 volt 10 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 12 i is equal to v upon r 12 upon 12 is equal to 1 milliampere okay now let's disconnect this and we'll connect this now see here applied voltage is 12 volt this crocodile pins are connected to one end of this potentiometer here also this right end so it is showing 12 volt reverse it is showing because we have connected negative towards positive positive towards negative so if you interchange this terminal you will get positive voltage 11.99 means positive voltage now same way if i connect here 
then see it is showing 4.45 volt if it is connected here it is showing 10.21 volt if I connect here 12 volt and but since this terminal is connected here so this terminal is useless so in between these two we will get 12 volt now see what happens now now here it is showing 10.2 volt see now I am changing the wiper of this potentiometer you have seen that voltage is varying right now it is zero it is now 8.6 showing it is 9.4 10.9 11.8 when you will connect here then full voltage will be possible that is 11.99 or 12 volt similarly if you change this let's see what second now here I am wearing this when you are seeing that you can vary from 0 to 11.98 again reduces so by this or this potentiometer you can change the value also you have seen that since this is 10 kilo ohms so voltage across this was 10 volt out of total 12 volt so if the voltage uh, register value is higher then voltage across it will also be higher if register value is higher then voltage across it will be also higher here it is 10 kilo therefore output was 10 volt across it if I remove from here and if I connect here it is varying from 9 voltage to 12 voltage now I am switching this power supply one precaution you must take that if you want to measure resistor suppose you are measuring between these two values here it is showing 11.8 kilo right just nothing is connected here when you connect this to supply this internal resistors comes in parallel with this 12 ohm okay so finally you are seeing here it is 3.06 kilo resistance so whenever you are measuring resistance you must make sure that it is not connected to power supply 